Hi guys. Okay. Um, my name is Courtney. I'm a junior at Marion. Oh my! <laughs> and this poem is untitled. What I know of my uncle, I know from stories spoken from mouths unaware little ears were listening. From his mother, from his brother, who didn't know that I understood. His name is John, but he prefers Robert. He was adopted. He was born in 1968, which makes him 48, the youngest of his siblings. He is Native American. He bleaches his hair so the gray doesn't show, and the color ends up matching mine. And he looks a little ridiculous, but I don't really have the heart to tell him. <laughs> at, at age four, he would leave his room in the middle of the night and throw eggs up at the ceiling, trying to get them to stick. My dad still holds all the times he had to clean that up over his head. At age 12, he left his bed in the early morning hours and crashed the family car about half an hour later. <laughs> At age 17, he received a 25 to life sentence for murder. What I know of my uncle from him, what I've heard from his voice and not whispers behind hands, the only thing I know to be true. He wrote a book, a children's book. <laughs> My uncle wrote a children's book called The Burial of Crazy Mouse while incarcerated. It's the story of a small village of mice terrorized by an eagle. The eagle would swoop down into the village and snatch up the mice whenever it pleased. And the villagers would do nothing. There was one little mouse, the youngest, the smallest, the weakest in the village. When his mother was snatched by the eagle, his siblings cowered in fear and did nothing. But this little mouse, the youngest of his siblings, went out to save his mother from the talons of the eagle. The other mice in the village called him Crazy Mouse, crazy to seek justice, crazy to scream and shout, crazy to love so fiercely. Though he was too late to save his mother, Crazy Mouse was not too late to save his village. At the same time, the eagle's talons ripped into Crazy Mouse. Crazy Mouse's stick pierced the eagle's chest. They both looked at each other one last time as they died. Last summer, when I went to go visit my uncle with my dad, he asked me to publish his story, to tell the world of Crazy Mouse and the eagle. I was terrified. <laughs> I could not imagine telling any child this story of a dead mother, of flesh torn from bones, of murder, of betrayal. I thought it was crazy. I thought he was crazy. Crazy.